Today is December 26, Ukraine Media Center Ukraine Forum continues its operation. My name is Vasil Samakhvalov and our guest is Vas Alexander Staruch, the military governor of the Parisian region. Good afternoon, Mr. Alexander. Good afternoon. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Mr. Alexander, st straightforward to business. The Russians announced the martial law <coughs> with the duration of one week in Vasilivka and other small villages and Downs around what can it be related to? They announced it last week. Now they disseminate the information that there will be no restrictions. However, at the same time, they, they intensify the filtration measures, the inspections of the phones, uh, the inspections and searches of the apartments, and they limited the freedom of movement in the streets, they want to intensify control during the holiday season and probably to watch their drunken ones and our population as well. Uh, we uh, observed the mass movement of military material near Melitopol and Takmak. Uh, there was also information about the probable offensive of Russians from that direction, what the movement of material can mean. Well, it may mean anything. First of all, it means that the material is being moved from uh, east to west and back, because uh, the Parisian region is uh, in the middle between the Donetsk region and Mykolaiv and Kherson. Uh, Melitopol is the transport hub, and it's impossible to move the military units and material in a different way. That's first of all. Second is that they are having permanent rotation in different directions. One unit arrive, another ones leave, uh, to just to r rotate the, uh, their p personnel, which takes part in the fights. And they try to gauge the area to conduct some assault operations, or maybe they're afraid of the offensive of our troops. We have questions in the studio, please. Good afternoon, Olga Panasenko, Ukraine Forum. It's known that the enemies do not cease to shell the uh, towns of Zaporizhia region. Recently, after the shelling of Stratnenska community, uh, you wrote that after World War II, uh, it was rebuilt by the captured Nazis, and now it will be rebuilt by the captured uh, Russians, the Russian prisoners of war. Do you think they are really capable of rebuilding anything? And what use can we make out of the Russians were captured. <laughs> well, thank you for your questions. <clears throat> well, I said that, that the school in, in Lezhino, uh, there were 229 children studying there, and one of the rockets that hit that, uh, that school, there was a musical class and a library which was rebuilt by the in imprisoned Nazis after World War II, and as to their re rebuilding by the Russians, there was a visit of our president to the United States, and relevant resolutions were taken, which allow us to use the resources of Russian Federation and file lawsuits uh, for the destructions they inflicted in our country. So it's clear that as the construction workers, they are probably useless, but uh, as a financial resource or just fill the trenches with the gr ground to carry something, they, we can make use of them in this regard. We, another question, we said that the Parisian region suffered most after the last shelling, after the last missile attack. Was the situation with power supply and with the functioning of the region in general? Yeah, within the last week we had 590 shellings, 51 shelling of 16 communities within the last days. Around 150 installations were destroyed, uh, including that school I just mentioned, and including the power infrastructure objects, some of the installations were re rebuilt and uh, their operation was renewed on the very same day by evening time, but some of the facilities, they require more time for re reconstruction. 
because to, to build the automatic transformer it takes maybe four to six months even provided we have money for this so uh, some reconstruction will take time the power supply situation is complicated we have a rolling power shutdown schedule in effect and uh, that there was an emergency shutdown recently because of the um, intense consumption by some industrial facilities but the uh, the rolling power shutdown is now in, in effect is back in effect uh, we have three hours per day for sure for residential areas the situation is forecasted however complicated uh, so the last question is uh, uh, about the industrial facilities. The Parisia region was always the industrial heart of Ukraine. Many heavy industry enterprises were located there. What's the condition of their operation now? Uh, do they manage to continue their operation? Well, the part of the industrial facilities operation is limited. Some of them stopped. Unfortunately, some energy uh, high energy consuming enterprises had to stop a lot depends on the management of their businesses some of them uh, are still able to continue to operate to maintain their personnel and even to help the army but there are some that neglect a little bit with the, the restrictions they think that they can solve their problems at the account of the people but now the Zaporizhia region I would say operates to the half of its capabilities and we are third by the economic growth indicators and uh, by the number of exported products and the amount of money that remains in the country uh, the situation is complicated due to many reasons but some of the businesses keep standing for example our transformer uh, factory and their manufacturing capacities were moved i would say so some of the metallurgical businesses operate in a normal mode i would so say they uh, provide fill in the state budget and they uh, keep providing the jobs for the people because each of us uh, has to either work or be in the front line there's some known data so to say then there was a number of strikes on the industrial facilities but we i hope that we will be able to preserve the manufacturing capacities and the specialists what's even more important you know that a lot of specialists work there uh, that we try to keep them uh, so that they maintain the operation of their businesses in a normal mode I, I will not tell you the name of the enterprise, but they are energy, very energy consuming. They renew their uh, manufacturing capacities. They rebuild their manufacturing capacities. They keep the people's a job. Uh, thank you very much for the optimistic news. Joining us was Alexander Staruch, the military governor of the Parisian region. We'll continue our operation tomorrow. See you. Yeah, cool.